open public hearing for resolution number 761 is published. At this time, we will accept comments from the owners or anyone having an interest in the property referred to in resolution number 761. If you want to make a comment, please state your name and address for the record. Do you have anyone wishing to comment? Uh, just me, Jeff Oliver. Uh, just here basically to, I guess, answer questions and figure out where we go from here. I mean, I do have plans for the building. I don't want to see it torn down. Uh, I do plan on uh, putting in a back wall. The materials have already been purchased. I just haven't been well enough to get the job done. And uh, I don't want to see it be destroyed. It's not that far gone. I've had several people look at it with me and, you know, had some, a contractor that basically knows construction and I told him what I had planned and he gave me a few pointers to tell me a better way to do it. So, you know, we've got a plan for the building. Once it's fixed, I still plan on getting rid of it. I don't need it. The only reason I even bought it was to help Twyla out. What? I my question is oh, okay. 60 days. Okay. Are you going to be able to complete the repairs within 60 days? In how many days? 60. I seriously doubt it. I don't have the money to hire it then. It's not my probably put as many days in there as you want. It's up to the council out of discretion. I was the one who gave the last person to make this case. I don't know how to do it. So if you want to give them it depends on what I can round up for help if it's just myself and my sons uh, it'll take several months probably because I'm not good for very long We can get the uh, you know get everything removed from the property. Uh, you know I want to empty it anyway. I've already made arrangements for that. I came up with a semi trailer that'll probably get the rest of it. And then uh, as far as the building, what we have planned for the back. I mean it's I'd say more realistic would be you know, 180 days. I mean that would give me. I mean that's through the summer because. When it gets, I, I've got some health issues and I just can't do what I need to do. I mean, I'm going to do the best I can because I don't want, I don't want to lose the building. You know, I don't want it to go down. We've, uh, you know, we know pretty much what we're going to do as far as the roof is kind of a no-brainer, but the back wall, you know, to make it uh, a usable building one of that. I mean, I personally have zero use for it anymore. Is this the first time you've had notice that it was dilapidated from us, Good City? Well, we were, uh, I think there was one meeting last year. No, this is the first time I've ever been here. But there was a meeting last year where we got a letter and I called and I forget, for some reason, it wasn't on the agenda for that evening. It had been rescheduled. And I was never notified as to when, and I'm guilty of not calling and finding out. This is that rescheduled. That's what this is. Oh, this is it. Okay. Well, I made it. But have you made any progress over the last 12 months? I bought the materials. Uh, we basically have the plan down as to what we're going to do. The only thing I don't have is, uh, which I've already talked to him, is. Kansas door up at Great Bend. Jim Gratz is uh, going to fix me up with a door for it. Other than that, I mean, we're just—I'm just, just going to put an overhead door in and and turn it kind of into a storage unit and then just see if somebody wants it. You're not going to make the wall safe where it's falling off. Oh yeah. Take the tree down. Yep. <laughs> That's a tree. 
that's that's our only concern is it keeps falling. Yeah. Yeah, that we're just going to take that uh, that area out and uh, pretty much put a header in there. You know, or because that. Uh, well, my friend that looked at it, he thought possibly it could be mortared back up, but you know, if we got up there in a la uh, on a ladder, I'm sure where the tree grows, grows in, it's probably split it because it does show some damage on the inside of the building. And that's where I thought just taking it out and basically header and, and frame it. Well, I thought again, uh, giving 180 days, okay. that's fine. Okay. Council decides, but it's where I stand on it. We'd li like to see some progress on it. So, well, yeah, you know. we, we need to because it's. I'm not doing so good. Yeah. You know, I might not be here in 180 days. Yeah. I mean, that's. Okay. I got some problems. So, uh, you know, we're going to do the best we can. I mean, I need to get it done because it's, it's a total millstone for me right now. I mean, I need the thing just gone. Yeah, it wouldn't cost so much to bring it down. I'd just dispose of it and give the lots to the city or something. But I haven't had any income in two years. I've got to try to get me set up on disability, but that's a pretty slow process. No, I'm not going to put a door in the north side. That'll just be walled up where the tree is, and then the the door will basically be on the on the west end again. You so say you're going to repair the north side? Yes. What are you going to do to the inside? Anything? Or? Uh, depends on. What I end up doing, you know, the, the plan when I get to the end, as I said, I, I have no use for the building anymore. Uh, I never should have bought it. I should have just kept, kept paying her rent, but it was kind of a bailout deal for a friend, and I tried to help her out. I didn't really want the thing, and now I'm stuck with it, so I just got to deal with it accordingly. But I, uh, the fact that I don't have a business anymore, I, you know, once the inventory is out of there, uh, you know, I have no use for the building. Once it's fixed, I'll probably just try to sell it just to get my money back. Or if the city has any interest in it, I'd probably donate it to the city for a write-off. Not that that puts any money in the bank for me, but I have, again, I have no use for the property. I'm open to suggestions. I mean, if I didn't have to put the money in it, because what I'm having to do is the inventory that's in it, basically, I've been selling to, to try to get the money to go ahead and rebuild it. Uh, I talked to Tiff about it. He wanted the lots, but he didn't want anything to do with the building. Well, that's, that's not the way the deal's going to go down. Right. You know, it's whoever gets the building gets the lots. Right. I mean, I understand what he wanted. He just wanted some place to park his stuff, but he does it anyway, so, and I don't care. Not like it's hurting it, but I mean, if the city had any use for it, uh, I could walk away and probably not shed a tear. You just get my get my inventory out of there. Because I have to look at what it's going to cost me to do what we need to do to it. I'm going to be at about seventy five hundred dollars. How long will it take to get the inventory out? Oh, if I needed it out by in a week, I could probably round up enough help. I have enough people that owe me favors. Then again, that would probably be a pretty weak thing to stand on. We could get it, two weeks. We could have her jumped out. Well, that 
That's all I need to hear. I'm like a Okay, we, we'll have to close the closing yeah, hearing and then we can add that to our new business. So you think that is feasible? I mean, the, the city would have some interest in it? I mean, uh, no, that's just my opinion. We have to discuss it as a group. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to figure out when I can start sleeping again. Oh, I'm sure Mel will be in touch with you tomorrow. Okay. He's got my number. Well, probably need a few numbers. If there are any additional comments, I'm going to go ahead and close the public hearing at 7 12 p.m. Public hearing is closed. Um, additions to the agenda, we have appropriation ordinance of 603-2013. I'd like another 10-minute executive session on full business. Any appointments, please? Please. L-I-V-I-E-R. Yes. I'd like to have, what I say, 15 minutes to move the executive session on your phone. Am I finished here? Yes. I think so. You are. Okay. So your son is that Dave or? Uh, no, Evan. 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 Okay, thanks. I just need it for the so My driver. <laughs> you wouldn't mind sticking around. Uh, might be your benefit. We have any questions? Oh, that's fine. Okay. I mean, do I need to leave the room? It's going to be clear at the end of the meeting. Yeah, it's yeah. Going Does he have your number? No, it's going to be under right. Mel Chair. Yeah, that's right here. Half, over halfway through the meeting. Right. We can okay. just call you if you have, we have well, you need to give me a cell phone. Oh, okay. That is my cell phone number there. That is. Five yeah. four nine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to change John number, so that's what I got. Okay, so just, you want me to hang around town, though? I mean, or do you want to do it over the phone? Do you need me back in here? I don't think we can do it over the phone, probably. Over the phone would be fine. Okay. I do have a question, though. I mean, and this is what would be discussed, I'm sure, but uh, I donated to the city. Would there be, like, an established value or something that we could just, you know, something I could have on paper that would just, you know, that way I could take my beating and at least show it to the IRS or something. That's, that, that'll be discussed in the executive session. Okay. All right. We can't, we can't really get in there. That's fine. I mean, just, uh, i just trying to figure out where, where I go from here. Is okay. That, that right, Julie? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ed. Good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Wait for a call. Opposed? Okay. 
citizens' comments. Trish Coleman. I do not see the mm -hmm. fire department. Mike. I would like to request an executive ten minute executive session for not elected personnel. Non elected personnel. Um, council mayor and Don.
he's just informed here that's what they're spending the moment because yeah. we don't have a problem with it. That's all you got? Um, had a, uh, a young person come into the library and was uh, telling me that they've seen some animals that have been mutilated. Uh, one of their pets uh, was burned. Um, they're going to take some pictures and uh, write a write some comments, and they're going to. I told them to bring it to you. Okay. Uh, so I just wanted you to be aware that you might get something down the line on this. So. Okay. Right. Yeah. In, in, in the future, if you wouldn't mind, just going ahead and letting us know then. Okay. That way we can, you know, just either save a case number or, or because a lot of times people will come and say they're going to do it and then they don't do it. Okay. But that's something. That's, that's extremely bizarre behavior that we yeah. want to follow up on. Definitely. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thank okay. you. Thanks. We have uh, Ordinance 219. Uh, Ordinance Group Special Use uh, to establish an irrigation contract as business seeing outside storage of pipe on rack and trailers and equipment and receiving to the industry on certain property located in the city of St. John.
setting a bad example if we ran pan out of town and never even let this guy do it. I think that was under the old code. I'll move to approve ordinance 1019. Seven sixty one? No. So seven sixty one. 
All in favor, right hand. Those motion carried. I vote. I want to skip them back to the budget deal, but for some of the newer things, for maybe for Sherry or even for the of us, it'd be nice if we'd uh, if maybe on that budget workshop we kind of went through and explained it. I can do that. Like, so I can do it through line item by line item if you want. Well, to. I know, but that way everybody understands the encumbered and, and the balance sheets and all that stuff. I mean, that way, I mean, I know that balance sheet doesn't necessarily have to no, really way. encumbrances don't either, but um, well, I'm just saying, transfers and right. protectors. Just, just so sure. everybody understands that. Everybody yeah, we might, the same might want to plan a little more time to go through and explain right. the whole budget. Would anybody have an objection to starting the meeting early that night? Or would you rather keep it at regular time and then we go until 10 or 11 o'clock and go to 10 or 11 o'clock? I just shouldn't go late then. Hard enough to get here this early. Yeah, yeah, no I mean, that's just my opinion. Oh, sorry. 6204 The only other thing I had was just to report that we had um, the Jubilee went off pretty well. We had a, a, a couple of little things um, with our street lights, but we got that figured out. And um, I think that the folks that did attend had a good time. People seem to enjoy themselves. I want to thank everybody who helped with um, all the different aspects. It takes a lot of people to volunteer and do things to, to pull it off. And so just wanted to say thank you to our community. And oh, yeah, we were really lucky. things to you guys in a packet a couple of meetings ago for you to fill in so that I have that to get to them on yourselves to um, and that's where I'm standing with a lot of things is I've sent stuff out to people to fill in and I haven't got that information back so if you have information to send back to me I appreciate it get back in and then I can get it into them and if you're not going to fill it out through her or anything, you can let her know that. So I can say, honestly, don't remember seeing any paper about it. I can send it again. Yeah, yeah. If you're okay. And um, I think it would be a good idea for us to get pictures of everybody so that they can put on the website so people can identify us. I mean, some of you all, yeah. everybody knows. Are you going to go are. out and take the pictures of the well, school, the track, the swimming pool, and the parks? And I think, yeah, I was going to say, the school has a website, and so we can we can um, link it to there, you know, without having to build a page for the school, because they have a nice website. Does it, does it include the track? And the yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, we're in the process of redoing our website as well, and it should be up and online by the end of the school year, so it's going to be way better than what we have now, far more interactive, so... And what we have right now, we, we do continue to update and put information out, so it's not like we don't have one out there, but it doesn't look as nice yet as it will when we get all done. Do we have an estimated date of when we'll be live? Well, we should have been there, but I'm still trying to put it, get information to them. So until I, it's not their fault, you know, it's, there's just so many hours in a day, I guess is the best way for me to put that. And I need to get the information back in. Is it just from us that you're waiting? No. No. I have other people that I'm waiting for. Thank you, Don. Uh -huh. uh, Chief probably knows this, but if you read the papers recently, the Supreme Court came out with a case uh, yesterday that uh, probably revolutionizes law enforcement about as much as fingerprints. Uh, DNA swabs on serious crime offenses are now can now be taken uh, 
uh, when someone was arrested. So that's a huge uh, plus for law enforcement. Uh, you also got in your packet that this came out today on the concealed carry bill. Uh, if you want to take some kind of action to exempt yourself for another year, you've got to do that by July 1st, so I need some direction if you want to try and exempt uh, City Hall from that for at least a year. Uh, at the end of that, unless you put somebody at the front door with a wand or a metal detector, you're not going to be able to keep uh, concealed carry weapons out of, the, out of City Hall here unless you decide it's okay to let them come in. It's really a and it's not just City Hall, it's City Hall, plan, any, any, center, publicly, any public any public element to so your direct center, your uh, power plant. Does not include schools. Doesn't include schools, but it would I mean the courthouse is gonna to have to address the situation. I don't know how the library sets in that. Uh, really. well, it's a, owned by the schools. Yeah. By the school, so. the courthouse did theirs yeah. through the uh, Basically, through the chief, chief judge of the district, you can switch firearms within yeah. close proximity to courtrooms and things like that. So, what they chose to do is just exempt the third floor where court is. Okay. So, throughout the rest of the courthouse, they're they're not uh, limiting that. However, obviously, for the purposes of safety and court and stuff like that, the third floor is exempt. But that, I mean, that is it, it, it's up to you guys how you want to handle it. I, I have a little problem. To keep guns out of City Hall, then you need to take some kind of action. You can probably put it off for about a year, but then you got to have a plan and you got to do all the things. The other thing, I got City Attorney's meeting uh, June 14th in Kansas City. Uh, I've been on the board of directors there for about 12 years now. Uh, I'll be the vice president next year. I'll be the president of the League of Kansas or the City Attorney's Association. Uh, so I will be on. Shields for City Attorney Rod Lyons for City Health Op Officer Doris Knappenberger. Doris Tompkins. Uh, Tompkins, I'm sorry. Looking at the wrong line. Do I have a motion to accept these appointments? I'll make a move. I'll make a motion to accept the appointments the mayor has put forth. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, right hand. Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. I will accept a motion to adjourn. Second. Third. Okay. Bob and Sherry, if you guys could stick around for just a second, I'm going to talk to you. Okay. Meetings adjourned.